Hi everyone and welcome back to Sandy Bay. So today I've decided to do something slightly different. I always try and aim to do something different every episode, although it's not always easy. And what I've decided to do is a fruit mod. It's not like the different crops you can plant, it's another fruit mod which I have actually used before in Cobble Park Farm. It's, I think it was probably about last June. It's been a long time since I used it. But basically, it allows you to plant fruit trees and then you can harvest the the, the, the apples and the pears I think they are and you can sell them in a stall on the roadside or in your yard or wherever um, so I would like to do that but we do also need to tidy the yard up just going to put that into there uh, we'll drop that there for now but yeah I think really this this area at the front here should be for implements basically what's here now um, and then these sort of open fronted sheds should be for tractors and loaders and stuff and then so really large sheds at the back here should be like an overflow shed for machinery and also for bales. I think that is what they're best suited for. Um, we might do the clearing up at the end because it's a bit boring um, if you do it for too long. So I think probably first of all we will actually do the fruit. Now there should be another tractor heading this way. But I, I think it's crashed. So we'll stop that there and I'll go and see where it's gone. Here it is, the good old Ursus with the baler. We need to put this into a shed because we, we won't be using it too often. I might use it again, but certainly for the foreseeable future, I think it's just going to be dry stored somewhere. Um, it is a nice baler though. Some people don't like it, but in its own way, it is nice. We could also do with refueling this because if we don't, it could get condensation in the tank. It's still got half a tank, but always best to do it. Okay, there we go. Full tank. We'll just put this out of the way somewhere until later. It won't take very long to do the trees because I don't think you can actually plant them with a sapling planter. It's basically just a placeable mod. Which sounds bad, but it's actually quite a fun mod to use when it comes to harvesting the, the fruit off them. This can just go here. And I, I think I won't use the Massey Ferguson's to begin with because I use them too much. We'll just use the New Holland. And oh, we don't want the... Um, what am I doing? I've turned the engine off now. We don't want the dancing Bowser on the back. I'm not sure what it is about, why it dances, but it does. So we need to find a field for our fruit trees. They're not going to take up much space. so. Pretty much any grass field we want. Bearing in mind though, wherever we put them it's going to make it harder to actually to mow the grass, so they want to be in a corner, I would have thought. This isn't a bad field for them, but it's not a bad field for mowing, so maybe right down the bottom end there, that might be quite a good place to do it. Like I say, they're not going to take up much space, so it doesn't really bother me which field they're in. And we have the mighty greenhouse. We need to buy some more of those. Uh, just finding the money. Actually, we could really do with a bit of a, a selling session because we have got a lot of crops in storage. Anyway, if we go to the mod section into placeables, we have got these by More Two Thousand. Yeah, it was it was about a year ago, maybe just less, maybe ten months ago, that I did these. Um, and yeah, they're basically £1,500 per tree. And uh, they produce so much fruit that the kiosks overflow. You have to have lots of kiosks. Because otherwise, you won't be able to put them anywhere. And they're stuck in your trailer. So yeah, let's get some apple trees in for, for a start. And we need to have quite a good spacing between them. Because if you don't, you basically have to reverse the trailer up to them. Or park alongside. And if you don't have enough space, um, then you can't harvest the tree. So, ideally, they want to be in, in rows, but with enough space in between to drive between them. If you get them too close together, it doesn't allow you to place them. I think that's coming out far enough. We'll just keep it in the bottom section here. You have to wait for the, the fruit to grow, obviously. It's just... Some mods, they're already ready to harvest. Other mods, you have to wait. So, these ones you have to wait for. 
and the tractor is in the way so we'll just move that out of the way there we go put that one there and yeah they don't want to be too close because they need to have enough sunlight move back a bit it can be uh, quite hard to place these really closely together neatly because there's such a fine line between where you can place them and where you can't tractor's still in the way There we go. So that has, I think, about £25,000 that cost. But that looks pretty good. I like that. You do also have to buy the trailer, which is compatible with this mod, though. So that is another expense, but it's not very expensive. Quite a good price. And you might be thinking, oh, it's not a very big orchard. Well, the amount of crops you get out of these, if you've watched the Cobra Park Farm video I did of this, um, it's still quite, quite incredible. There, there is a lot of fruit to come out of these trees. You've just got to let them grow. So that is actually it. That's all you have to do. You just basically plant them, wait for the, the fruit to appear, and once they are ready, you can harvest them. If you go up to them, you can actually see, I think, I think it just appeared. There we go. It says pears zero, zero percent. So obviously no productivity at all yet, but once they are about 100 percent, we'll harvest them. Oh, we've got four percent here. They're actually going quite quickly. They might be going with the growth rate, which is on normal. So I put that on slow because we don't want them to grow too quickly. And yeah, we'll, we'll take this back to the yard. Do a bit of tidying up. And then at some point in the future, it won't be too long by the look of it, we will do a harvest of these trees. We'll buy some kiosks and we'll sell some. It should be quite fun. As for the price you get though, I don't think it's that impressive. I don't think you really make much money out of them. In fact, once you've set everything up, it's probably not even worth it. But it's just another little uh, little thing to do on the farm. We're diversifying. So, yeah, not bad. I like doing the, the fruit trees. Now, this tractor is quite a good yard shunter. We should probably use this to shunt everything about. And, well, obviously, it, it likes to do some dancing as well. So we can dance with the Bowser for a start. And I need to get... A tractor in every one of these sheds, these open front sheds. We should probably move those bales. We should do that with the trailer, the bale trailer. So first thing to do, if this tractor will accept this trailer, it's probably a bit too small, is to move those bales. I think, yeah, I think the shoe on the front there it hits the ground, especially when you're on the road. I think it's doing it there but it's okay because we're only moving it about what 50 yards okay it's not okay it's crashed this tractor is small it's best suited with the water bowser in that case um actually the merlot is probably a really good multi-tool to use i think we use this instead but yeah, the, the yard is a mess. It really is. I want to get this tidied up so that it looks presentable for future episodes. No one likes looking at a really scruffy, messy yard. Yeah, this shouldn't have an issue, I hope. Hmm. Okay, everyone's having issues with the trailer. The shoe has hit the floor. I think it's just because we're in a muddy puddle, but I do know the New Holland does have issues with it. So, let's get this thing loading. We need to put the trailer onto the automatic load function. Uh, the, the Merlot has so many different features, it's quite hard to see. But, we should be able to, to do it. Now, the loading type is not wall pallets. That's what it had on previously. Um, it is actually square straw bales. There we go. And the loading type wants to be automatic. They weren't really doing any harm in there, but they're a bit messy because it's taking up space for a tractor. So that is the main reason why I want to move them. And it seems that we don't have as many as we used to. Did I use some? I might have done. So yeah, I'm just going to reverse this back into here and basically just 
put them in the corner so when we need them we can use them we've just got to get around all of these different tractors and of course our pet turkey which is just there I think just alongside the hay bales we have, the very few hay bales we have is the best place to put these I do just need to put the help on so we know exactly where we're going to actually put this so if I put number 5 on and then I think number 6 is the one that helps you yeah turn off loading and then unload products just about there should be fine as long as it doesn't go through the wall perfect so that is the bale sorted and in fact the bale trailer can stay there we don't need that again and that is a good place for it so I'm going to do a few things off screen because otherwise I risk this getting a bit repetitive but essentially I think you know what I'm going to do I'm going to basically just put a tractor in every one of the open bays and take off all the implements so that we don't have them on the tractors make things look a lot neater really we've then got this tractor Massey Ferguson 5712 which has been doing the bell chasing and it really does need to be washed because it is so dirty so I'll just get this done and then that can be put away as well and that can go in the relic pile much cleaner yes basically I have just designated an area in the shed for all of the really old equipment which we're not going to use too often because then it's not getting in the way and you will see that just back here the Ursus has got the baler on the back we've then got the dominator love that dominator so good um, and then oh yeah we've got the uh, bale the bale collector I should call it because it's not exactly a stacker it's not really that neat in what it does so that can go just there and we do need to get that, that out from behind that tether so we'll move that now but things are coming together certainly it's looking a lot neater than it was I've got everything in there and then we've got two tractors so far parked up the JCB still needs work because we need to take the mowers off uh, now the roller we won't need too often so I'll put this in front that should be okay and then this drop nose Matty Ferguson we'll put in the next bay along it should be okay there so there we go we've got four tractors in there I don't want it to look too artificial though like they're all perfectly spaced apart because uh, otherwise it's going to look really really quite hard to look at I think because it's going to look really stupid but yeah I think it, it's, it's looking much neater at least we'll just move this back a little bit further that should be okay there um, I do want to use the Dominator again I think it's going to be a really nice combine to use in another small field so looking forward to that but we're getting closer to the end now um, the Merlot I think is probably best suited in here the mowers I've just put there they should be fine I suppose we could keep the Merlot in, in the cow area behind us um, but yeah it should be okay just there oh we've got the baler we don't actually need that round baler I don't think but I won't sell it just yet just in case we do and uh, yeah, the hardest thing of all is this combine harvester. Where shall I put it? Oh, actually, I could have put I could have put it in there. I might move the merlot. Yes, I think I put the merlot down in the cows because it's probably going to be needed down there. The Lexian is best suited in a shed. Um, it doesn't really want to be outside too much especially in the winter time. Oh, if only there were seasons, that'd be so good. Right, that's much better. Things are looking neat. And I suppose I should just go and pick up those two bales because we're not really using them and they look a bit strange just sat there. 
So although we've only got pallet times on, I will try and spike them and drop them in the cell point. Try not to, to spike a cow. Well, they're on and it looks okay. So we might as well go and get a bit of a, a cash boost as they're worth so much money. And we don't really need the silage bars anymore because we're going to be producing our own in the clamp very soon. So we might as well just get the money for them. But things are coming along nicely. I'm almost happy with how it all is. Hopefully you are too because I've had a lot of, uh, well I suppose you could call them complaints about the state of the farm. It is a bit, well it was a bit messy so looking better that can just go there maybe not quite so much in the undergrowth we are going to be using it though so it's not just going to be left with the cows so they can chew all the wires would, would they actually do that? I suppose they would chew hydraulic hoses um, I don't know probably not the best thing to do but uh, yeah I think we are almost there how are we doing at the front here? Yeah, that is all good. The mix is in there, but we might need that soon anyway. So I think that is all looking good. And finally, we have the Class Axion 950 with the pickup on the back. Now this is rented, I think we've got 20 hours left on it. So we could keep it somewhere in the yard, but as it's going to disappear, I don't know if we will. It is a big thing. We might still be using it within the next 20 hours because that is still a long time as we're playing in real time. So yeah, I think I might just put it here. Re reverse it into here. And then we just need to find another shed for the tractor. Kind of thinking I should sell some sugar beet because we have so much. I might just sell one trailer load just to finish off with. Let's see what the price is like. Go to the first page, second page. Uh, sugar beet, yes, the price is up. It's not great demand or anything, but it's still up and we've got a lot in storage. Uh, Sandy Bay Stores is the best. That's the furthest from here. So I will just get the Stuart trailer attached to the, the class and we'll fill it up. It needs to be repositioned anyway because it looks like it's at a strange angle. Yes, what a perfectionist. <laughs> no, I'm not a perfectionist at all. It's just, um, as we're going to be using it, we might as well put it back a bit neater than that. So, yeah, I think you fill it up down here. There's a conveyor belt. Okay, um, I think I'm too far away or too close or something. Oh no, oh you fool, you fool Dagoin. You've still got the wrong trailer type. After what everyone told me. There we go. Thank you everyone. Uh, I always forget that. I always forget what type of trailer body we should have. And now you'd be saying fill from the back first. I should have reversed up to there. I do read your comments, it's just I forget them. Oh. The fun of watching Dagger win on YouTube. I bet it's very stressful actually. Stressful occasion. So let's take this over to Sandy Bay Stores. It is quite a way. We'll go the back way. Head down here. We can't go too fast though because it does pick up quite a lot of momentum. Especially with a trailer on. Our fruit trees are looking good. That can be now our orchard. Oh I should get a placeable hedge mod and put like a boundary around there to divide it from the rest of the field. Hmm, I think that would look good. I might do that. I might download a mod. I like coming this way because you get to uh, get a good view over the rest of the map. And I think the train line's down here. It is. Um, no trains at the moment. You tend to get the two trains together. You have, I think it's the intercity and then the freight one follows must be how it's programmed in. What's this? 
we have a wool pallet. Did I not sell it? I thought I sold that. Hmm. I'm surprised the police haven't informed us about losing a pallet on the road. We're going to have to get that moved. Um, I might do it off screen. Because I am terrible at picking up those pallets. So I'll get that done for the next episode. I can hear a train. Oh, I'm missing it now. Yes, it's the Intercity. Sandy Bay Stores is the furthest store from where we were. It's unfortunate that it was the best because Lithium Stores is literally about 200 yards away. Maybe a bit more. It's a lot closer. But we get a better price so it's worth it. See what we can get for this. It won't be very much because the trailer isn't that big and the price for sugar beet isn't great so let's just see you would hope it's about 15 to 18 thousand though hopefully although it didn't oh no it didn't look good now I'm getting mixed up with canola 6,000 I suppose for sugar beet isn't too bad we do need to wait for a great demand though to get the best out of it. Anyway, back to the yard and I think we'll finish for today. Taking the sea air while we're here. Here we are. Don't know if there is a place for the class tractor to go. I'm sure we'll be able to find somewhere. But the Stuart trailer can go back in its position. Try not to hit the sea drill. Or the baler. Oh, there we go. That's better. And yes, we'll put this in a shed somewhere. Two of the spaces are taken up by seed and fertilizer. Um, over here. There we go. Place for it just there. In fact, that mower probably could move. Uh, we'll have to see if we actually need it or not because we've already got two others. But there we go. Hopefully, you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching and please do join me again tomorrow for the next update. But until then, bye for now.